What's up guys? So this past weekend I was able to do a little bit more testing with the 124 gram hammer hunt there in my 308. I was able to stretch it out to 300 yards into some gel and I was using my Ruger American with a 22 inch barrel. So I'm going to show target quick. Um, before I shot at 300, I just shot to see point of impact with a couple different bullets at 100 yards. These were two cavity back bullets. Um, it's kind of weird that the heaviest bullet hit high. Here we got the two hammer hunter shots. I only took two because I was saving the rest of the bullets for the gel. Um, first shot was perfectly in line. This shot I kind of pulled because my father was shooting right next to me and he shot right as I squeezed the trigger. Um, now, I didn't get a chance to chronograph them, but I'm loading these 124 grain bullets with the same powder charge as the 125 grain cavity back bullet. Now, these cavity backs are doing 3150, so I'm assuming the hammers will be doing at least 3150, maybe even faster because of the way they're designed. Um, I'll get to chronographing them soon, and I did just get a, uh, a Lee Factory crimp die so I can do some crimping and experimentation and see if I can get these groupings a little bit better. Anyway, let's get to the uh, gel, and I'll show you guys what happened. Alright, 124 grain hammer hunter, 300 yards. I was aiming slightly to the left, definitely had a little more left than I was expecting, but perfect shot. Picked the bullet, opened up, and we got one fragment there. Bullet stopped here about halfway through the second block. Still has a pedal attached to it, so it didn't shed all the pedals. All right, so there's another pedal here, so it shed two at that point. I'm not really seeing too many others. We'll uh, take a better look when I get home and I can take these apart. All right, guys, so I got the gel box home right now. This is the uh, 124 gram hammer hunt there that I shot 300 yards. So as you can see, bullet came in here, still opened up pretty quick for 300 yards. I believe impact velocity was like 2,200 feet per second. I'll have to uh, check my ballistics calculator. Came down, we got two big pedals here. You got one that came out the, the block. You look close, there's one back there, another here. Um, block unfortunately got dirty because when I was shooting a different bullet, I hit the wood the block was sitting on. And then the bullet came in and stopped right here in the second block where it still has a pedal attached. Um, so let's see. About an inch and a half in before it started to open up, which is pretty good for this distance. I would say that big part of that permanent cavity carried out to nine inches or so where the pedals broke off. Um, those big pedals stopped about a foot in and they did veer out. You know, they got a three inch wound channel there, an inch and a half, you know, out to the side of the main bullet path. And the main part of the bullet went another six inches in the second block, so we got 23 inches of penetration, which is not bad for a 124 grain bullet at 300 yards. So I'm going to dig this out and we can take a better look at it. All right, so this is what is left of the bullet. I did not pull out all the fragments because I didn't want to ruin the gel. I want to shoot a few more times. Impact velocity was at 2,300 feet per second. I double-checked the uh, ballistics calculator. So we're at 94 grains. So we lost about 30 grains. Now, my calipers are dead, so I'm going to stick this on my uh, tape measure and try to get an idea. So we're definitely not a precise way to measure, but it's about half an inch, probably a touch more. So pretty good performance for 300 yards. Um, if I was going to shoot further than 300 at game, I might pick something with a little bit better BC, but from 0 to 300, I think this will be perfect. All right, guys, well, uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.